Guys, you could pick up this meat grinder straight from Vivor for about 99 bucks. I'll have a link down in the description, and I do believe that is a bargain. And as you can see, you put that top piece right there in the freezer, get it frozen, meat semi-frozen, and you are good to go. Yeah. So look, anytime I am doing brisket, uh, a brisket burger for a smoked brisket burger, I do have a little bit of chuck, some fresh chuck. I use that just to get that perfect 80, 20, 75, 25, you know the deal. And as you could see here, the Z-Grill definitely laid down the smoke. And a good rule of thumb for me is about 45 minutes to an hour. Anytime I am doing like a uh, any type of smoked burger, smoked brisket burger, kind of the same thing. About 45 minutes to an hour should get you where you need to be. Yeah. So just a quick word here, anytime I have something frozen and I am going to do something like a brisket burger where the meat has been handled once before, I like that safe zone of a medium or about 140. Real quick on this, I like to keep these uh, burgers type burgers simple. We got some thick cut, uh, thick cut tomatoes, thick cut onions, and also some provolone cheese. 
And just like that, we will get these bad boys flipped over. Wait about another minute or two. That is it. We will cheese them up. That is going to be a couple slices of provolone. That is deli sliced provolone. We will cheese them up. Let that melt. Get them on over to the board. Plate them up. Finish it up. And talk about it. Yeah. And I'll tell you, I got to say, I love the color anytime you are doing a uh, smoked burger like that. I mean, you can barely see it with all that melted cheese. But let me tell you something. It has got that red hue to it. We will get that thick tomatoes on, thick onions on. And that there is that smoked brisket burger. So look, sometimes I think you just don't need words for what has uh, just taken place. As you saw me uh, kind of plate up that smoked brisket burger, and you can tell this is uh, this is top notch. This is juicy, smoking good. There is no doubt about it. Again, with the rain and so forth, I am just going to do a uh, quick taste test, talk about it real quick, and close out the show. I mean, look, what could one say? It is a, uh, it is a mid-July here in the Garden State. We've got rain happening all day, and I've got some fresh brisket burgers to munch on. It doesn't get much better than that. I mean, look, everything is down in the description that you need to, uh, to make these burgers. Don't forget to start saving all your brisket trimmings, your chuck trim, uh, trimmings, your sirloin trimmings. Save all your trimmings. Get it in the freezer. It'll last about a year in there. I mark them with a um, with a magic marker so I know exactly what is what. And on days like today, I am hitting grand slams. That is going to end this show. I appreciate you all for watching. Don't forget Z Grills will have this recipe blogged out. I'll have a link down in the description when they get there and when they blog it out. You can just follow that right to their web page. Press a button. Print everything you need and make your own smoked brisket burgers. Look, that is gonna close out this show. Again, my name is Tommy. I appreciate you all for watching. Don't forget, I got a join button down in the description if you wanna support the show that way. It is greatly appreciated. Also, my Patreon members, I got information on that down below. Everything used on the show is also down in the description. You can support me all those ways or just watch from start to finish. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave me a comment, and we are good to go. So that is it for this one, and until next time, we will see you soon.